Hey besties, so what I'm doing today is a Ninja Turtle theme Pringle wrapper in Microsoft Publisher. And I'm basically going to design this up. I'm gonna give you guys the measurements. I'm not doing it in Cricut and I probably won't be able to because this, uh, once I give you guys the dimensions, you'll see basically that the dimensions for print and cut uh, max is 9.25 and this um, width wise is 10 inches so I did it here in publisher it's still super easy you just have to cut it out with scissors so the dimensions for your actual wrap are going to be 4.45 by 10 inches okay and then you're gonna do 3 inch circle for the lid okay so I will go ahead and start my design here I'm gonna start with a shape fill pictures this one right here now I'm not sure if they still sell this file on SD because it's actually about it's been about two to three years since I purchased this one but I will try and find it in my purchases and link it down below okay. and then I will go ahead and insert all of my clip art and then come back to the video I have all the images that I'm going to use the only thing that I uploaded from Google was this um, little sewer Ninja Turtle logo and I'm going to use that as part of the the lid so if I went ahead and resize this pizza to about 2.5 and stuck it here then I could do a shape fill on my actual circle and make it you know orange red whatever color okay and that would be for for the lid if you don't want an outline on it which it doesn't matter either way but click on it format no outline and it'll remove that um, black line around it okay let me make these smaller see this is a um, JPEG image so I have to recolor it I have to go here to recolor set transparent and then remove this white background Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of overlap here on this side is where I'll leave the space at and then this side will not have the overlaps. I'm going to go ahead and insert word art. If you want that back to shine through, you could do a shape fill no feel and it'll come out like that you could change the outline color to you know to whatever you wanted so I'm going to make two of these Okay, so I went ahead and duplicated 
this image so I can make two because I only have two Pringle cans. And then I just added the name here. Um, and then I, I added to the format, I did a shape fill of green and a outline of red. So I'm just going to copy this and then duplicate it and then just put it down here. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was if you wanted to add a the child's picture on the lid can, go to shapes, do a circle. I'm going to insert it here and make it three inches by three inches. Okay. Then I'm going to do a shape fill picture. I'm going to go to my desktop and then and like that. Add it in. And then you can do a shape. Make it like a um, carved a little bit. Like that. And then if you want it to, you can do a format shape outline. Let's say red. And then do a weight of like three inches, four inches, whatever you want it, like that. And then just select these two, click on it, and then push control, click on the circle, and then go to group. So that way when you move it, they move together. Okay? So that is basically how you do the design, and then I'm going to go ahead and get this printed now. And then cardstock is what I want to use, um, high quality. I do have this um, large piece of cardstock, so I'm going to use those to print it. And then I will go ahead and print. Okay, besties, so I'm going to go ahead and get this image cut. And like I said, I only have two, so I only printed two. I started this Facebook group um, there's like 20 people 25 people in it right now and uh, basically I put a lot of my Cricut templates in that group I'm gonna try and do some mock-ups of uh, in publisher as well so that I could um, start doing those templates for you guys too but if you're interested you can go ahead and join that group what you can also do is use the pringles uh png or jpeg I, I chose not to just because of my theme but all you have to do is go on google and look it up download it to your computer and then you're good to go the only reason why you'll see this image on both sides is because I did a test print and and so that's why it shows up on that side. So I am going to make sure this is super tight. I, like I said, I think in the beginning of my video, I did it about 10.25 just so that there's a little bit of overlap. You don't have to do that. You can just stick with the 10 inch measurements if you want. 